Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, if you're new here. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my very first designer clothing purchase. So I'm really excited about this piece and I thought I would do a video on it, talking about it because I'm sure it's actually something very common and um, maybe you've been considering it. I actually thought about this item for a few months um, just because it is really expensive for me. And I was really hoping I could find it on sale. And so I was watching a lot of different sites, seeing if they had uh, coupon codes or whatever. And I couldn't, I, I every time I looked, there was nothing. Like maybe, I think I seen a 10% coupon code once, but when you ship from Europe, um, because it was a European site, um, the thing is for the 10%, I don't feel it's a worthwhile enough savings to risk shipping something and having it not be perfect and then having to ship back or just deal with that hassle. So the piece I am talking about that I'm so excited to share with you guys is this monogram cardigan from Burberry. And I'm going to have mod shots for you um, to show you what it looks like. Maybe I will insert them right here. Okay, so this is the wool and cashmere uh, monogram cardigan from Burberry. It comes in two colorways. There is this one that I have the black with the kind of beige color. Oh, I'm shedding everywhere. Um, and then there is like the, the beige color with black monogram. I like the beige preferably because, or sorry, I like the black because I feel that the beige would wash me out. Um, and I feel like the black is just easier to uh, maintain, like if you were to spill on it or anything, it's not going to show. So, um, yeah. And they also have many other cardigans. They have the infamous check print in the beige. They might have had the check print, I think, in a darker colorway, like black and gray maybe, which is really nice. But I don't know if that was available. I do like that one. I would definitely consider that one. Um, and then they have some other ones. So I will talk about those in a bit in case you're curious what else Burberry has to offer. I live in Canada. So for me, this was $1,150 plus tax is a retail price. And um, I think that the check print cardigans are $1,350 plus tax. So I believe they're a little bit more money. Um, what drew me to this cardigan is I I like, I'm really into the new Burberry monogram print that they have. Um, I know some people because it's TB, they think it's like maybe Tory Burch. And to be honest, at first I thought that too. Um, I have some sunglasses from Burberry with the TB. And when I first seen them in the store, because I bought them at Sunglass Hut, I I honestly like asked the girl, I was like, oh, is this new Tory, Tory Burch? And she's like, no, it's Burberry. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but anyways, I like it because of, because of the fact that it's not that known. So even though in a sense, this is really flashy, like if this was Gucci, you would know it's Gucci. Everybody's go going to know it's Gucci. And then I feel like it'd be really flashy, but people don't know what TB is. So it's only, in my opinion, it's kind of like if you know, you know, and if you don't, like it's not considered flashy and I really like that because it's just not attracting unnecessary attention like I don't want everybody to be like oh my gosh she's wearing a such and such cardigan or whatever right so I I just thought it's really timeless it's very simple in a sense that this will go with almost like not everything but so many things you can wear with this right um it's a classic silhouette it's, it is considered a oversized cardigan. I got mine in an extra small. Um, I am 5'6 and about 130 pounds maybe, 125 to 130 pounds and 5'6. Um, where I tried on the small and where the small just looked really awkward on me was the length of the sleeves were way too long, which I know would get really annoying and in the way. Um, and then because it's like looser, if the sleeves are long, you, it's just harder to pull up and keep up. I don't know. I just, it didn't, it didn't look good. And then the back was really gapping, which this, the extra small still does do that a little bit, but the small, I felt really did it. And then the shoulders, 
because this is supposed to be oversized, right? So even on the extra small, the shoulders are a little bit big, but the small, the shoulders were really big. It just did not look good. Um, so I recommend if you're kind of in between sizes, like typically I do wear extra smalls. It depends on the style of shirt, depends on where I'm purchasing. It depends on how I want it to look, but usually I'm an extra small, sometimes a small, but if you're like me and you tend to go towards the smaller size of the two, definitely go to the smaller size. Um, you will regret. I seen actually another review of this sweater on YouTube and the girl ordered it online and that's exactly what I would have done. I would have ordered the small. Um, and yeah, she was like, I could tell she was upset. It's too big. So definitely go with the smaller size. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will show you the mod shots unless I already said that. And I'm going to, I'll mention what the composition of this is. So it says 40% polyester, 17% uh, cashmere, 2% polyamide, and 1% elastin. Is that right? I feel like that didn't add up to 100. That doesn't seem right. I feel like we're missing something here. What's going on? <laughs> Polyester, cashmere, polyamide, elastin. Is there like more on the other side? What's happening here? Oh, here we go. 29% uh, cashmere knit trim. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so for me, this was a really big purchase. Like I said, I thought about it for months. Um, do I recommend it? Um... I don't know. This is the thing. At the end of the day, it is just a cardigan. So I think it really depends on how much you're going to wear it or if you're the type of person to keep things for a long time. I know I am. Um, a lot of my clothes I have for years, to be honest, and I, I wear them all the time. I like to take really good care of my items. Um, I, pull, I pack all my winter stuff away in the summer and then I pull it back out and I really do re-wear all my stuff, like years on end. So for me, it is still very expensive, but I think it would be a nice addition to have for long term. It's something nice. Like I've ne I've never really had something very um, like higher end and classic. So in that aspect, I do think it's good. It is expensive. I don't know. Like I'm trying to think about how I can justify the price. And like to be honest, it's ridiculously overpriced. It is just a sweater. So. Um, I don't know. At least it's like, it, it's very thick and of high quality feel. I'll say that. Like it doesn't feel cheap at all. You can tell there is a lot of wool in here. Like it's, it's done really nicely for sure. It's a beautiful sweater. So if you want something that's a little bit more heavy weight, like it's, it's thick and it's a very, it's what I like about it as well. It's not a loose woven sweater. By spider, <laughs> not a loose woven um, sweater. So it's there's less of a chance for it to get hooked on something. So just things to consider if you're going to be spending a lot of money on a cardigan or whatever it might be. Um, just think of of ways it can get wrecked because you don't want your item getting wrecked, right? So that's what I think of. This is really thick. Um, yeah. So. Less chances of it to get snagged, uh, black, less chances of it to get stained. So, I mean, it is expensive, but I do not have any regrets because I just really enjoy it and I'm looking forward to having it for many years to come. So they have this gorgeous uh, Czech cardigan in, it's called the color Birchwood. Um, this is like the classic Burberry Czech. What I like about this one is it seems that the color, the tone is a little bit darker than the typical. I mean, I could be crazy because when I was looking at it, I was thinking, hey, this color doesn't look that bad. I think it would it would look good with my skin tone. Whereas before, I swear the other color that they had, I was thinking it's going to wash me out. So if you are considering, you know, I would, something that's very classic from Burberry, I would definitely go with this one. Like I said, it's a little bit more money. It is $1,350 here in Canada. Okay, so I got on my computer because I was just 
talking like based off of memory and then also just looking at my phone but um there are two different colors so like i said that cardigan the classic check one that i just spoke about was in birchwood that is a darker tone and that tone is beautiful so the traditional color um it's weird they don't say the color but um it is on their website and it is called the check technical wolf jacquard cardigan and that's twelve hundred and ninety dollars canadian so they also have this cardigan which i think is new it seems like there's a lot of new items on the website all of the sudden because i was really stalking this website for a while up until a few weeks ago and there are things i've never seen before so there's a new cardigan um the horse fairy cable knit wool cardigan sorry the horse fairy cable knit wool cotton oversized cardigan cardigan <sighs> why can't i talk that this cardigan retails for $1,650 Canadian, which is wildly expensive for a sweater. It says new in. Um, why is this cardigan so much money is what I want to know. Let's look at the product details. Um, so it says this style fits large. Um, take a sm size smaller than normal for regular fit. Um, soft wool cotton highlighted with our horse fairy print and chunky rib knit trims made in Italy. Okay, so that's a difference right away is my sweater is actually made in China. And I know that's one of the things that pushes people away from the brand is a lot of their items are still made in, or not still, but are being made in China. Um, the thing is, is I actually don't really have too much of an issue with that. Of course, I would prefer if it said made in Italy or made in France, but at the end of the day, as long as the quality is there, I'm not really concerned. Also, I know that a, a lot of brands, well, most brands, in fact, manufacture uh, a majority of the product or components of a product in China and then ship it to Italy and then it is finished in Italy therefore they can say made in Italy so knowing that I mean it doesn't really bug me whatever but yeah so made in Italy $1,650 I am not feeling this cardigan especially for that price I think it's really expensive I feel like the Burberry logo on the back is a little bit bold but if you're into that then I mean by all means it's still a really nice cardigan they also have the monogram motif blend oversized cardigan which is $1,390 um, this is a very understated cardigan so if you're looking for something understated it doesn't have like the full Burberry check print it's really simple um, it comes in two colors it comes in the black I'll show you guys the black here and then it also comes in the honey the black is very beautiful but that's a lot of money for what is technically like a pretty simple black cardigan i mean it's beautiful i think if this was 600 dollars like all day long i'd have no issue but ugh, you know almost 1400 dollars canadian and with tax who knows like probably 1700 dollars. it's insane so it's a bit expensive um they have added quite a bit more they have this scarf tie detail wool cardigan um, I mean these scarves would drive you insane I'm sure because like how are you going to do anything without them getting in your way $1,850 it is very cute though so from looking on the site they do have many other cardigans but I'm not going to share them all here I just wanted to share the most comparable to mine in case you think oh like that's a nice idea to get a Burberry cardigan but I'm not sure if I really want that one what other ones do they have that are the same style so the Czech ones are the only ones that are the similar style to mine, but of course in the Czech print. Um, in my opinion, probably my favorite, and I'm almost like thinking, should I have got this one? I don't know. I it, What's really crazy is I almost want this one too, but it's just like, it's really expensive. So I'm gonna have to calm down here. <laughs> but it's the, the Czech wool cashmere jacquard cardigan in the Birchwood. I think this color is stunning, especially on the model with her skin tone what a beautiful cardigan I love everything about it just the way that the print even is placed on the pockets and how the pockets look on it it's absolutely perfect what a gorgeous cardigan and that's $1,350 Canadian um, 
I'm just gonna let you guys know what it's made out of. So it is 68% uh, wool, 29% cashmere, 2% polyamide, and 1% elastin. It's really, really, really nice. And I feel like this, that one would feel like mine, which is that thick jacquard um, heavyweight feeling. And I think that's really nice. And what's also great about this fabric is it's, um, it's not something that's going to stretch really easily or lose its shape. Um, so I even have been hanging this up in my closet and I use the flocked hanger so it grips the shoulder so it doesn't like, you know what I mean, leave that big thing. But so far it's been good. Um, I'm having no problem. I really, really like the density of the fabric. But thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you are new here to my channel, please do consider subscribing. I would love to have you um, as a part of my little community here. I have a very small following, but um, if you like this video, please do like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.